Now the critical thing with any rice is to wash it and make sure it's clean before you cook it. Now with Japanese rice, which is what this particular type of rice is, you have to wash it more than you would with uh, jasmine rice or basmati rice or American laundry. So let's start washing. And first fill the bowl with water and then quite aggressively you need to wash the rice. Now we want to keep on washing this until the water is essentially clear. Well, with Japanese rice, you'll probably find you'll probably find you need to cut to wash this maybe five or six times, but as you can see this is the third wash, the water is now running much clearer now one last time and as you can see the water is now basically clear So the next step is just to make sure you've got the right volume of water to cook the rice. Before we put it back into the machine, one critical thing, just make sure the bowl is nice and dry. So we've got that all done. Put it back into the rice cooker. Again, open. Pop that in. Just make sure the bowl is firmly positioned, the rice surface is level. And as I say, at this point, we'll leave it for 15-20 you know, minutes just to let it soak before we start cooking. Okay, so the rice has been left to soak for a few minutes um, and now it's incredibly easy to cook the rice. Quite simply, using the menu button, press it once, moves it to the rice cooking function, then it's as easy as just pressing the start button. Now what you see is the LCD screen has gone red and that shows the rice is cooking. When it's finished cooking, it will go green which just shows you that it's ready but it's also there in the keep warm function for when you're ready to eat. Okay so the rice has been left to steam for 10 minutes or so and as we can see lovely rice inside all you're going to do is just fluff up the rice using the uh, spoon and again that just gets rid of a little bit of the extra moisture it's a really lovely and tasty. So we've got a lovely bowl of rice. All that's left to do now is eat it.